Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lecture, we'll configure EIGRP in a lab demo, and you'll also learn the verification commands. So let's look at those now. First one is if we do a normal show run, then if it's a production router, you can have a lot of commands on there and you can end up having to scroll through a lot of commands to get to the section that you want to see. So if you want to view the information about a routing protocol, there's a useful shortcut that we can take. We can say show run and then a space and then a pipe and then a space and then section EIGRP and it will just show us the EIGRP commands. Another reason this is useful is you might have some commands configured under the router EIGRP configuration, other commands configured at the interface level. When you do section EIGRP, it will show you all of the EIGRP commands, whether they're done under the EIGRP config or under the interface. So you see we've put the command in here and we can see the output is just the basic router EIGRP 100 and network 10.0. Next command, to view all of the dynamic routing protocols that are running on a router, we can use show IP protocols. Here we see that the routing protocol is EIGRP 100. You can see other information in there as well, like which networks it is routing for, the timers, etc. Show IP EIGRP interfaces will show you which interfaces EIGRP is enabled on and also traffic statistics for EIGRP as well. And the next one, show IP EIGRP neighbors. This is usually the first command that I'll enter after I've configured EIGRP. So as soon as you've configured EIGRP on both sides of a link on at least two routers, do a show IP EIGRP neighbors and check that EIGRP has come up. You can see here that we have got one neighbor on this router, which is at 10.0.0.1, reachable out interface fast ethernet zero slash zero. Usually the next command I'll do after I show IP EIGRP neighbors to check that the neighbors are up is a show IP route and check that the EIGRP routes have made it into the routing table. The prefix in the routing table for an EIGRP route is a D. So anytime you see a route with a D, it was learned via EIGRP. In the example here, I can see I've learned two routes from EIGRP. They've both got the default EIGRP administrative distance, which is 90. And the next number I can see after that is the metric, which router they were learned from in the next hop, and what is the exit interface. Okay, so that's our EIGRP verification commands. Let's go and configure this in the lab now and verify that EIGRP is up and running. So with my lab topology, I've got my five routers, R1 to R5, and all of the interfaces are in the 10 network. So let's go on to the lab. In fact, what I'll do is because again, they're all gonna have the exact same config, I'm gonna save myself some time and I'm gonna type it in notepad first and then I can just copy and paste. So I'll say router EIGRP, let's give this an AS number of 100 and all of the interfaces begin with a 10 for their IP address. So I'll just say network 10.0.0.0. I could say network 10.0.0.0 0.255.255.255, that would have exactly the same effect because that's what the default wildcard mask is anyway. So I'll just leave it at network 10.0.0.0. And because I'm just at the enable prompt and all the routers, I'll also put in a config T to save me typing that and a return at the end. Okay, so I will copy that and paste it into all of my routers. So there was R1. R2, R3, R4, and finally R5. Now EIGRP converges very quickly. 
So actually you can see it in the output there, but the neighbors have come up. So that's usually the first command I'll enter after I've configured EIGRP is a show IP EIGRP neighbors. This is on R5 and it's directly adjacent. Let's just have a look at the topology diagram again. So R5 is this one here at the bottom. It's adjacent to R1 at 10.0.3.1 and R4 at 10.1.3.1. So I expect to see two neighbor statements there. So let's check it. And yes, there are the two routers. So that all looks good. And if I do a show IP route, I can see that I have got my EIGRP routes in the routing table. Other commands I can use are show IP protocols. We'll check what all routing protocols I've got running on here. I can see the networks that I'm routing for. I can also see the sources. So this gives me neighbor information as well. Also other information like the metric calculation, etc. We'll talk about the metric later on. So that was on R5. I'll jump on to R3. It's about in the middle and just check that it's got the EIGRP routes as well and that all looks good. Another verification command we can use is show IP EIGRP interface and that will show you which interfaces EIGRP is running on. If you were a bit confused about the meaning of the network statement and you wanted to double check, show IP EIGRP interface would help you out. Okay, so that's how we configure and verify EIGRP. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.